Hello aviators, welcome back to The Finer Points. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tip on how to fly better ILS approaches or GPS approaches to LPV minimums, how to hold those needles a little bit better. This is an exercise that I always do with instrument students and I'm gonna show you in this video uh, just how powerful that can be. Hello aviators, my name is Jason Miller, a full-time career flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. All right, I'm gonna show you kind of how this goes in reality. You know, the first thing that we learn typically when we're learning how to fly a needle, whether it's tracking a GPS course or a localizer or even just an airway off of a VOR, we learn bracketing, right? The concept that you should hold a heading not chase the needle, but pick a heading on the needle side of the case and fly that heading until you see the needle move towards center. And eventually, you know, you kind of go back and forth until you figure out the perfect heading, which holds that course against the wind. Okay, that's step one, bracketing, right? Don't chase needles. I think we all know that. Uh, but an exercise, you know, a moment that typically happens for me in training, and I'll show you an example in a minute, is when I have an instrument student that understands that concept, but is still sort of overcorrecting, right? The needle goes off to the left a little bit, we go 30 degrees left. The needle goes off to the right a little bit, we go 25 degrees to the right, right? Very large swings at the needle. And when we hit that moment in training, typically what I'll do is ask my student to go visual for a moment, essentially cheat, lift up the hood or lift up the and burn the picture in their mind that the runway doesn't move, right? It's really all about the trend on the needle. So really, if you have any heading on the needle side of the case that's taking you toward the needle, like in this example on the ILS runway 16 approach into McClellan Airport in California, I was coaching Kristen to hold south here because it's on the needle side of the case that will take us toward the needle. And as long as that needle is trending inward, we're headed toward that runway threshold, right? So it's really about the trend on the needle. Good. And as long as, remember, as long as you stop that lateral needle from moving, hold that heading and yep. check it. As long as it's no longer going out, note the trend. Just keep flying 500 feet per minute down, 90 yep. knots. Note the trend. If it's trending back toward the center, even slowly. Now I can start turning a little no, bit. No, no, don't turn. Oh. You're, look up. Look at the runway. Oh, damn you're, it. You're trending back towards center, but you're not there yet. Right. right? Okay, and typically what I'll do, because we're blessed here in California when it's beautiful like this out in the foothills in the summertime, typically we have fog all along the coast. It's my IFR playground. Uh, so just to make sure that she has the experience, can prove to herself and have the confidence that this really works in real life, uh, we, we headed down to Half Moon Bay to fly an actual instrument approach. Uh, and just, just watch how it works. She's doing a great job. Oh, beautiful. All right, you should be fully on the gauges now. Um, tops are going to be about 18, and we know the bases are four or so okay. from what we learned. They still turn a little bit to the right? Just a tiny bit. Uh, just noting yeah. the trend. And, and right there, Coming just hold in, that yep. heading, turn okay. coordinator. Turn coordinator to stop turn. Yep. Good. So there she goes off into the clouds and uh, the whole way down we're working on that same concept, holding headings, watching the trend, uh, and I think it's so important to have the confidence, the real confidence of being able to fly in the clouds. Uh, so we're very fortunate here and if you have the chance to fly in the clouds, even if you're already rated, uh, definitely take those opportunities. I'm going to move this ahead a bit to the, uh, to the end of the approach, uh, just so it's not so real-time. But if you do want to see the real-time version of this, that is live on Patreon, along with other bonus content. Yeah. 800, 800. descending 381. Here comes the needle. All right, good. It's coming. So just hold yeah. your heading. 700, descending 381. You're going to have to turn back to the right a hair to stop Tiny that. Tiny bit, right? right? Yeah. Here comes. 600, now look up. Do you see anything? Nope. All right, keep going, stay on your yep. gauges. You're gonna go all the way to it. minimums. Yep. If you had to land, do you see a runway environment? Look up. Not yet, yep, I see it. All right, so you could land, right? Yep. So this approach is not truly at minimums, it's 200, nope, it's exactly, 120 Exactly, 500, above. yeah. Okay, good, but we're still gonna go missed, okay? Yep. All right, aviators, so if you are an instrument pilot and you've never done that little cheat thing or flown an ILS or GPS approach while visual, you should do it. You know, often we're just taught to like stay under the hood. Um, so try that, burn that picture into, into your mind and you can see that, that it'll, it'll help you be a more precise 
uh, better and safer instrument pilot. And if you want more tips like this, by the way, you guys might not know, but every Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific, I do TFP Friday office hours via Zoom. You can ask me questions, I'll give you training strategies, we can talk through how to stay proficient, really anything you wanna talk about. Uh, visit patreon.com slash learn TFP to figure out how you can get bonus content and attend these Friday office hours. Also make sure you get a free trial of our Ground School app. We have an instrument course coming to the app any week now, I think we're two or three weeks away, so we're just adding it in as part of the same subscription. If you haven't seen the app, check it out. You can benefit for the, uh, from the app for your VFR flying as well. Also remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. Leave a comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. But most importantly, until I see you again, be safe and fly your best.